Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good night, everybody in the world. Uh, for the audience of this uh, uh, seminar for this big conference. My name is uh, Sarvidi, and I and my colleague, Mr. Jafar, uh, would like to uh, give you the information. And my pres I present, I make presentation about the topic of the equivalency of the diagonal seal strength of plaster and non-plaster red bed brick walls to the strength of red brick walls. <laughs> Here is the my outline for my presentation. Firstly, is uh, about the background of the research, and then research objective, research method, results, and discussion, conclusion, and uh, the last is about knowledge. Okay, when we know in Indonesia, uh, besides the abundance of the uh, natural resources, but we have also the uh, hazard, uh, so many hazards, the potential to be uh, disasters. The, one of them uh, is uh, earthquakes, because uh, Indonesia uh, is located uh, in the three uh, giant tectonic plates that move and direct and with the speed of difference and collide each other and uh, make uh, accumulate the energy and sometimes they release uh, the energy suddenly and become the earthquakes. So about uh, two or third of Indonesian territory is prone to earthquake uh, hazard. And if we see from the Spain, so, Spain, uh, from 1960 to 1999, that uh, the, 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 the most uh, majority of the fatality caused between the, the, the times, the era is the collapse of masonry buildings. So I think if we expand until now, uh, the, the, it will be not uh, so many different. There should be more than 50% of the casualties and fatalities, or maybe uh, the death come from the collapse of masonry uh, buildings. So, for example, in the in Indonesia, almost every year we have a, uh, a quick uh, disaster. And in 2018, for example, there are two uh, big earthquakes. This is the Abon earthquakes and Bajanegara earthquakes. And um, many of, uh, if we don't like most, uh, that the house. Uh, collapse because of the fa sheer failures of the masonry. Because the masonry is uh, considered as a type of uh, elements that is very brittle and heavy. So will make a uh, prone or uh, vulnerable to earthquake uh, sacking. And we know here, for example, the red brick walls that for a thousand years, the people like to make it and then uh, become concrete blocks about 50 years uh, from now, already popular. Uh, but now, in recent, uh, we use uh, the use of uh, lightweight brick as a masonry wall emerged to be popular. Why? Because there is a uh, many many advantages. For example, uh, is uh, lighter than a masonry um, and brick walls, and also easier to construct. That means that is uh, the time consuming for the construction is uh, a shorter. And the, the problem is that uh, the, in the construction community question is uh, what is different here strength of red brick walls versus of one of uh, red brick walls. Um, and uh, the objective of our research, me and uh, Jafar, is uh, to uh, answer one of the questions. There's a lot of questions, but we'd like to answer one that is to compare a maximum shear test loads between red brick walls and lightweight brick walls of various thickness through laboratory tests to find the equivalency of the shear strength of various thickness of plaster and non-plaster lightweight uh, brick walls against the one of red brick walls. Here is the my uh, research method. Our research method is using the 
Indonesia National Standard mean SNI for the diagonal shear uh, test loads. And also uh, in the STM E5, one end and ten is very clear that uh, there is a direction to uh, to make uh, the test for diagonal shear testing. And uh, we can see here uh, before the testing, we prepare for the testing just before the load uh, working. And load come from uh, up and downward, and to, uh, uh, to 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 compress the 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 the, uh, the walls. The example the specimen of the wall before testing, and right one is the after testing. It looks like that uh, the 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 walls damaged because of their uh, mode here. So we uh, uh, record the maximum load of uh, every walls in different thickness. And for example, this is the uh, the, the 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 result. And plotting by using the relationship between the thickness of the walls and the maximum uh, load, shear load means for the uh, uh, ordinates, yeah, for the axis is the thickness of the walls. And we can see here to uh, cluster uh, data. There are uh, the, 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 the low, the low cluster is about the non cluster light bit brick walls, and the uh, upper here is the is about the cluster light brick walls uh, data. And we can see here, I would like to compare also using the secondary data, that is the uh, plaster and non-plaster light brick wall here, that is the brown uh, dots here, uh, govern uh, or researched by uh, Mr. Sugiarton that and this is his my college, so my student, and making the, the same same time and same uh, same uh, place for uh, making a specimen as well as uh, the uh, place for laboratory testing. And this also we can see here that we would like to uh, to see, to find the trend of the uh, cluster here. For the first cluster, we try to make it uh, as a linear cluster, and having the Co co uh, correlation coefficient uh, close to one, 0 0.95 is close to one, so it's very good fit for the linear one. And then uh, second one, second cluster is for the un uh, unplastered wall is about uh, also uh, using the linear and the uh, correlation coefficient uh, is uh, uh, greater and more, uh, close to one, so it's uh, best fit for uh, linear uh, lines. So there are two, three, uh, two lines represent for the the, uh, the the above lines for the the plaster and the below one is uh, the uh, for the uh, unplaster walls, and we need uh, to compare to make it comparable. So we need uh, more uh, data by using uh, uh, extrapolation. So this is the extrapolation uh, uh, for the uh, first lines, and then the second is. The, sec, uh, the 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 extrapolation by using the uh, second uh, equation uh, second equation here so you'll uh, have the data and five and five to make it uh, comparable and then if we see from here and then after the process data to make it this one and to make average loads of the lightweight plaster walls become greater than of course uh, average loads of lightweight lightweight non plaster walls here so this is about uh, Average value in different thickness, so this just make it to general comparison. So comparison risk of the result is the addition of plaster on a lightweight brick wall provide additional strength of the wall about uh, yeah, nearly seventy five percent of average. And uh, uh, because the, we, the objective is to find the equivalency um, of the light brick walls to one of the red brick walls, so. Uh, we make a uh, two uh, techniques here. I mean, the, the, the using the same techniques, but with for applied to the two uh, cluster here. For the first line, first line uh, is that uh, using the uh, using a brick wall, plaster brick wall by data from uh, Mr. Sugiarto, and we would like to uh, make it uh, uh, to equivalent, yeah, to make it to compare it. So uh, for the ten millimeters. Uh, a thick of 
red brick walls as mean we will have uh, about uh, 168.76 millimeter yeah, uh, for the equivalency of light brick wall while uh, for the second one here for unplaster so uh, mr sugarto also has a uh, data for unplaster brick walls uh, and this is this we got uh, make it as uh, throw the line and cross to the uh, second lines and uh, we got a uh, about uh, 47 and to 0.26 millimeter equivalency for the shear loads so in the conclusion that uh, the strength of uh, uh, 1000 millimeter thick non plaster flat brick walls is equivalent to the shear strength of a non plaster light plate lightweight brick walls with a thickness of uh, 47.26 millimeter in addition for uh, 100 millimeter thick plaster red brick walls the shear strength, the shear strength is equivalent to the one of the plaster light brick walls with the thickness of 168.76 millimeter that's all on my conclusion. And uh, last but not least, we would like to mention about acknowledgement for the Department of Civil Engineering, Universitas Islam Indonesia, for awarding uh, this research grant. And Mr. Sugarto, as well as uh, Mr. Aziz Sulesio, uh, alumni and student of master program in uh, Civil Engineering, Universitas Islam Indonesia, who assisted and collaborated in this research. And last but least, too, and then for the colleges from the Earthquake Museum of Sarvidi, Professor Sarwiti community, as well as the Barataga community who provides administration and technical support. This is uh, the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you very much.